How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in today's video we're going to be covering one of the most important NVIDIA optimizations you can apply to any NVIDIA GPU. Whether you're running on a relatively old NVIDIA GTX card all the way up to the latest and greatest from the RTX 4000 series and anything in between, in this video we're going to be covering de-bloating NVIDIA drivers. It's an incredibly simple, easy and highly customizable option available to you. We'll also be showing you how to do a quick clean installation of a GPU driver so we can remove all of those excess old files sitting around on your PC potentially causing game crashes or micro stutter issues, alongside showing you all of the recommended settings in which I would utilize for a custom de-bloated driver to get all of the performance benefits we just spoke about. If there is one optimization you can apply to an NVIDIA GPU on any PC, whether it's a brand new fresh build or you're running this on an old dated PC which is full of bloat and rubbish, I would highly recommend this one to be the one that you do. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. In the last few months, the methods in which you would utilize to do this have had many updates and many new features brought into them, making for a fantastic opportunity to give this video a refresh. So whether you've done this in the past and completely forgot about it, or if you've never seen this before, it's a fantastic opportunity to jump in deep bloat and customize your driver and get the most performance out of your system as soon as possible. So to kick things off, the first thing I would highly recommend that you do is to make use of DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller to remove all of the old junk and potentially bloated old GPU drivers from your system. Utilizing the DDU program to do a clean installation of a GPU driver alone has fixed so many people's performance issues and crashing, it's incredible. By all means, you can skip this step in this video, but I would highly recommend against it as utilizing DDU should be common practice when installing new display drivers, even if they are just small updates. We'll also need to download the driver we're going to be de-bloating or customizing and finally the tool in which we're going to utilize to actually do all of the de-bloating slash customization. Take yourself over to Google and search for DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. You could either use the original location of wagnardsoft.com for the software or you could utilize the Guru 3D Mirror depending on whichever suits your personal preference. Scroll down, select DDU, scroll down once you've found this to click here for download and support, scroll down once again and I would highly recommend utilizing the portable version which you can download by clicking this link here. Navigate over to your desktop, then select save. The version of DDU you've downloaded is more than likely going to be newer than the version I'm recording this video on. That's completely fine, just download the latest version on here. Next up we need to decide which NVIDIA driver we're going to be de-bloating. For this simply search for NVIDIA drivers, then head down to nvidia.com slash download. Most of you watching are going to be utilizing an NVIDIA GeForce card, so select this. If you are utilizing this optimization on a laptop, you'll need to select from the notebook section under the series of GPU you are running on. But for me I'm using desktop, so I'm going to be going with the standard series. I have an RTX 30 series, so I'm going to be selecting this. I have an RTX 3080 Ti and I'm utilizing Windows 11. Next up is the download type, Studio Driver or Game Ready. Both versions are more than viable for most of you watching this video. Studio Drivers are more tailored towards stability and full functionality rather than cutting edge performance. You'll still get the same base game driver with inside of both drivers, so game performance should be very similar. Click on either version which suits you best, then select Search. You'll then be provided with the latest Game Ready driver or Studio Driver that you selected, then select Download. Select Download once again, select desktop and save. Last but not least, take yourself back over to Google. We're then going to download NV Clean Stall, press enter. I like to use the tech power up link for this. Alternatively, you can navigate up to the top and just copy this URL. On the left hand side, I would then recommend downloading the latest version that's available for you at the time of watching this video. Select download, select your nearest mirror. Once again, save this to your desktop, select save, navigate over to the desktop where you'll then be able to find the NV Clean Install, the driver and DDU. To set up DDU, simply double click the EXE, select more info, run anyway, extract, then be given a folder on your desktop with the display driver uninstaller which we'll be utilizing slightly later on in this video. At this point we then need to go and de-bloat the driver in which we downloaded. For this double click and open up inside of MV Clean Install. For this navigate down to use driver files on disk, select browse, desktop and find the driver in which you downloaded earlier on. Select the driver, select open, navigate down and select next. The first page you're going to be brought into is going to be the main chunk of the features which are going to be packaged with your driver which you can either deselect or select depending on your personal preferences. If you're not sure on what options you want to go with you could also use the MV Clean Stall preset options down here in the bottom right. If you want to select everything, select all. If you want to go with their recommended settings, select recommended. If you want to go with the absolute bare minimum, select minimum. On the right hand side of the screen you'll see a basic list of what you should install depending on the sort of system in which you're running on and the functionality in which you may need. For instance, if you utilize a headphone jack on your monitor and the audio is passed to your monitor from a HDMI cable, you would need to have HD audio via HDMI selected. Thankfully on my system I don't need any of this additional functionality, I just need the base display driver. For most of you though, I 
would recommend potentially just going with the recommended to stay on the safe side. If you do want to install GeForce Experience, I would highly recommend against this unless you actually use it, but if you do want to install it, I would recommend not selecting it with inside of here and just doing a manual installation of this later on in the video, which we will also cover. Select next. The driver will then begin to unpack all of the components you decided you want to get rid of. You'll then be brought over to the installation tweak section, which is where we're really going to dive in and start customizing this driver. First of all, I like to disable the installer telemetry and advertising. This stops all of the extra nonsense running in the background. You may want to do this, you may not, but I personally like to. You can also set an unintended express installation with inside of here. This is more personal preference though and won't affect performance. You shouldn't have to select perform a clean installation, especially for those of you utilizing DDU, which we'll be covering later on. But if you aren't using DDU, please at least click this option. Hardware support will be ignoring. It doesn't affect performance and it's an additional tweak, which we won't be covering in this video. Enabling the DLSS indicator is something I really like to do. It shows you which version of DLSS your game is running, the resolution in which it's currently running at natively and what it's upscaling to, especially useful to see which version of DLSS games are running. So you can jump in and manually update DLSS to unlock more functionality with inside of your games or potentially get better performance or visuals. There will be a video coming on this shortly. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I would highly recommend staying subscribed to the channel. Next up is one of the new features to MV Clean Install, which is to disable the multi-plane overlay or MPO. There are some pros and cons to this. You can find them listed on the right hand side of the screen, but disabling MPO in many cases has reduced input latency, fixed black screen errors, glitching errors on monitors, screen flickering, and potential low performance some people have been experiencing. I personally disable MPO in all of my systems. I found fantastic results from doing it. And if you decide you want to revert this back in the future, where well, you can just install a normal NVIDIA driver at any time. Next up is show expert tweaks. If you're not sure what something does, or you're not entirely sure if you want to give up the functionality, then just simply leave that option alone. My personal settings in which I set with inside of here, which may not be recommended for everyone, but I use is to disable the driver telemetry. I keep the NVIDIA container as we want to utilize NVIDIA control panel. I also disable the NVIDIA HD audio sleep timer. For any of the advanced options, if you want to get more information regarding these, you can select the help section where it will bring you to a blog post or web page detailing what this actually does. In nearly all scenarios, I'd recommend enabling the message signaled interrupt section, navigating to interrupt policy. In very basic terms, the interrupt policy can actually be set to run on specific processes and finding out which cause that works best on will be down to you and is completely unique to your system. But if you do manage to find out what this is and set this up correctly, it can drastically lower the amount of input latency you have in many titles. But for most of you, just select default. Interrupt priority, I would leave it default or go with high. Disabling HDCP is a phenomenal brand new feature which is available with inside of here, which in many cases can reduce overall system latency quite drastically on many PCs. I've been using this for months now on both my NVIDIA systems and I haven't noticed any loss of functionality in terms of watching any online content or recording videos, so I'm going to continue to keep this disabled. But if at any point you do run into any issues, videos not loading, content not loading, or something just doesn't seem right, you can just install a normal full fat driver from NVIDIA.com as you usually would on top of this, where it will then restore all of that functionality. For those of you content creators, you can actually apply the unofficial NVENC video encoder session limit patch. I don't know, but you could. Last but not least, I'd recommend rebuilding the digital signature and using the method compatible with EAC. Next up, take yourself down to the bottom right hand side and select next. This will then begin to apply all of the installation tweaks in which you've selected, and this can take a few moments. Last but not least, you'll then be brought to the finished page. We're not going to be selecting the option to install. We're actually going to go with show in folder, navigate over to the desktop, right click, select new, and create a folder and just simply name this anything. Drag all of the files and folders out, drag them into this folder. We then have our custom or deep loaded GPU driver ready to be installed to the system. Now, if you aren't going to be utilizing DDU, at this point, all you would do is boot into this folder, run the setup.exe, follow the prompts, and you're good to go. But if you have the extra minute or two to run DDU, I would highly recommend you do this. When utilizing DDU, it's best run in Windows safe mode. The reason you want to run this in safe mode is that when we're uninstalling the GPU driver our system is currently using, and we'll more than likely not uninstall all of the GPU driver files as some will be in use. Booting into safe mode will default Windows to using the basic display driver. So to boot into safe mode, navigate over to the left hand side of your keyboard, find the shift key, press and hold it. Whilst holding the shift key, navigate down to the Windows button, right click on the power button and select restart and continue to hold the shift key. After a few short moments, navigate to the middle and select troubleshoot. Go to advanced options, start up settings, then go down to restart. Once the system reboots again, we then need to select one of the options on screen now. We're going to be selecting option number four for this, so find number four on your keyboard and press the key. Log in as you usually would. Navigate inside of the DDU folder. Go to display driver uninstaller.exe. Navigate down to choose device type. Select GPU. First of all, start off by selecting any of the old GPUs you might have had installed in the past. Even if you don't use them anymore, we can get rid of those files now. Then go over to the left hand side to clean and do not restart. Once completed, go to this pop up. Go to the bottom right. Select no. Go to the drop down menu. If you had any other GPU vendors installed, select those. Run the same steps. Or lastly, then go over to our NVIDIA GPU. 
GPU. Once again, on the left hand side, go to the middle option to clean and do not restart. Once the Nvidia DDU has then completed, either select yes to exit out or exit out manually. We'll then navigate over to the GPU driver folder for the custom driver we created earlier on, then navigate down to the setup.exe. The usual graphics driver installation UI should open up, select agree and continue to this, and in most cases you want to have express installation recommended selected, then select next, and this should then install as a usual GPU driver would. The reason we're going to be installing this driver whilst we're still in safe mode is to ensure that Windows 10 and 11 don't automatically download a driver to your system when the system reboots, when it notices you have an Nvidia GPU installed but no Nvidia driver. So alternatively, instead of installing this in safe mode, you can just simply disconnect from the internet before rebooting your system, run DDU in safe mode, reboot back into normal mode of Windows, install the driver with the internet disconnected, once it's installed, reconnect to the internet and you're then good to go. In many cases, if you've decided to go with any of the custom installation tweaks, you'll more than likely have this pop-up come up where you'll need to navigate down to install this driver anyway. Once completed, you'll be met with this message. You could get a few error messages after this and this is completely usual depending if you went with any custom settings. Navigate to the bottom left, restart your system back into normal Windows. We then need to ensure that Nvidia Control Panel is installed. Start by right clicking on the desktop, go down to show more options. If you see Nvidia Control Panel with inside of it, and make sure that Nvidia Control Panel is still working. If you can't find Nvidia Control Panel, take yourself down to the bottom, search for store, go to the Microsoft Store. Take yourself to the top, search for Nvidia Control, where you can navigate down to get the Nvidia Control Panel and install it to your system. Once it's completed, select open with inside of here, and you'll then have Nvidia Control Panel back and installed and working. At this point, it then comes down to whether or not you're going to be utilizing GeForce Experience and re-downloading it and installing it to your system. My outright recommendation for this would be to only install it if you have actually used GeForce Experience in the last couple of weeks or months. If you don't actually use any of the functionality for GeForce Experience, you can install GeForce Experience now, you can install it weeks from now, or even years from now. If you don't use the functionality, there's no point in having an extra overlay installed, but if for any reason you do want to install GeForce Experience now or later on, simply take yourself over to nvidia.com slash geforce slash geforce dash experience and that will then install geforce experience on top of your custom debloated driver. It's not as bad as just having the full fat driver with everything installed, it's still a way better and more efficient option, but if you do want to restore that functionality, it's always there. And that goes for everything. If for any reason you run into any potential issues running a custom or debloated driver, all you need to do is head over to nvidia.com, download the latest driver for your system, like we have here, and just install the normal full version of the driver. All of that functionality for the basic settings, background applications, and all the interesting Nvidia tools will be back on your system and available at any time. Because we've installed a new GPU driver, many of your settings could have reset themselves for the Nvidia control panel, so just boot into the control panel as you usually would. First of all, start by navigating over to change resolution. Make sure that you've set the highest refresh rate possible on all displays. Navigate over to adjust desktop color settings. Raise your digital vibrance if you want a slightly more vibrant looking picture. Remember to set up any G-Sync modes you may have available to you. Make sure to check out my ultimate control panel settings guide, which you can find on screen now, linked in the description down below, and also in the card in the top right hand side of the screen. This is also a fantastic opportunity to jump in and start playing around with some advanced NVIDIA settings by going into the back end using third party programs such as NVIDIA Profile Inspector, Force Resize bar and unlock all sorts of functionality and tell your GPU driver even more, utilizing the advanced Nvidia settings guide which you can find on screen now, linked in the card on the top right hand side and linked in the description down below. And there you guys have it! I really wanted to jump in and do an updated version of this video as there are still so many people that don't know about this and with the updated features to the LV Clean Install Suite, cover some of the new settings which are available and show you what I would recommend that you do depending on the system in which you are running on. If you do enjoy content like this and wish to stay up to date with the channel and check out other ways to optimize your system without having to spend a penny, please do consider pressing that subscribe button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly and consider leaving a like and a comment on this video to help out with the YouTube algorithm and I will see you guys in the next video.